Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. Christian Mo requested Lagavulin 8. It was in the comments. <laughs> hey, we got a comment from Christian Mo. <laughs> it says, you guys should hit Lagavulin 8. <laughs> the 16 is one of my favorite whiskeys, and I just picked up the 8. I would be curious to see how your thoughts compare to mine. All right, it's time. Let's do it. Okay, so the eight. That's pitiful. It, you have log no, no, no. it out. No, no, but we're gonna try other glassware. Right. So we're gonna pace ourselves. <laughs> okay. What is this word, pace? <laughs> yeah. It's not in the Mooch dictionary. Okay, so uh, log of one eight is a special edition on their 200th anniversary. I'm not taking your comments. Give me my page. On their 200th anniversary. They wanted to do something. Now, back in 18, uh, 52. what is it? 52, 1850s. 80s. Let's just say 80s. 1880s. Uh, Alfred Bernard, who is the author of The Whiskey Distilleries of the United Kingdom. He wrote a book, yeah. right? And what he said was, I stopped by the Log of Woolen Distillery, and I tried an eight-year-old Log of Woolen that he said was exceptionally fine. Mm. Now, this is not probably what he tasted. But in no, honor, I doubt this has been around since the 18th. Yeah, no, no. But in honor of that, they did a tribute to a, an eight-year-old Lagavulin, and I think this is cool. And I've, I've read multiple people who said this, and I completely agree. Which is, how cool is it that as an anniversary edition, Lagavulin didn't just make an eight hundred dollar unattainable whiskey. Yeah. They made a, an available to the general public eight-year-old Lagavulin. Yeah. That's cool. That is cool. That's cool. They made it accessible. You know what this smells like? I to me? love that. You know what this smells like? Lagavulin. <laughs> it is a little bit more aggressive than the 16. Mm -hmm. We can compare it if we want. Yeah. I can. Uh, we will compare it. Oh my God. I'm there not... is candy in there that is not in the 16. There's sweetness in this one that's not in the 16. Yeah, there is. Um, there's not the rounded. Nuanced flavors that you get from this. No, but it's much sweeter. I mean, it's still smoky. It's still Lagavulin. Yes. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm not getting? Right? It's you, fruitier. You know what I'm It's fruit. You know what I'm not getting? That minty flourish. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, that's right. So, Lagavulin 16, in my mind, always has this rich smoke, and then at the very end, it lifts off into mint and then vanishes. This doesn't have that. But there is a sweetness throughout. It's fruity. It's a, well, it's a fruity flavor, but what kind of fruit? Fruity for Lagavulin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not French Context whiskey, is everything. fruity, perfume. But I don't perfume. know what, I don't know what fruit though. How high proof is this? Oh, 48. Mm. This is almost cask strength. So this is what we do. We go hunting for the fruit. We go hunting for the fruit in the different glasses because yeah, okay, we're gonna do a fruit night. So Pur somebody purple asked about glassware. Purple packet. No, two people. Purple and David. Stop. And David Ram. Really digging this channel. Thanks, man. Uh, would love to see you two discuss the different types of glassware used to drink whiskey. I use Glen Cairn crystal glasses myself, but I yeah. always wondered That's what, this what is. the advantages of that design are. Okay. Also, go ahead. I have a comment already. Also, what do you think of the whiskey stone? So this is a second, this is a follow-up. Oh okay, yeah, yeah, so let's start with the glass part. The reason that Glencairn designs are so amazing, it's a tulip shape, mm -hmm. and what it does is it allows a, a little bit of a bulb for the alcohol gases to collect without being shot straight out of the glass, mm -hmm. and then it funnels the remaining oils and, and essence into a very focused point that allows you to smell it. Okay, so. Right? Now, you're gonna get a vibrance out of this. You're never gonna get out of a straight Old-fashioned glass. Okay. Never. So what glasses? Now I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. Are you ready? So multiple people have asked about the Norlin glass. Now I was one of the original Kickstarter founders on the Norlin glass. You know what? Here's the thing. I saw this Kickstarter, mm -hmm. and I'm like, you know what? Who? You know who'd really love this? Daniel would really love this. F that guy. guy. F that guy. No Kickstarter for you. <laughs> Well, I found it anyway, <laughs> and uh, and I was one of the original contributors, uh, just at the level where I got two glasses, not at any higher level, and uh, it took them a little long to get to it. But they, what Norlin did was they went out of their way to try to craft 
and find people to make the perfect whiskey glass. No. Now notice the shape compared to this. On the inside, right? It's almost the same shape. Right. It's less it's less tapered up at the top. It's, it's wider it's at the top. Wider at the top. Look at this, watch, right? It goes over the Glen Cairn. That's how wide open it is at the top. Right. Now then they created uh, a hollow space between that and the pipe where, where your hand holds it. So it doesn't... The reason for doing that was by holding the glass, you're not heating up the whiskey. Okay. Now in a Glen Cairn, you gotta hold it by the base, or if you hold it like this, you'll end up heating up your whiskey and evaporates faster, that's a problem. Yeah. That's not a problem with the Normans. Okay. Right? Now, um, I am gonna go on record as saying, I actually don't like the Norlands. And, and and it's for no reasonable reason. So, oh, this feels surprisingly light. Yeah, it's fine. It's high quality expert glass work. Yeah, and I think right. it's lighter than the Glen Cairn. True craftsmanship. This is lighter than the Glen. And Cairn. I love everything about the idea of it. Yeah. Do you know? What, you want to know why I don't like it? Is the opening too big? No. Mm. No, it's just, it's all. Uh, what do you take? Touch. Taint. Uh, uh, no, it's uh, just the feeling of something, right? The the edge of this glass is fat, so, as opposed to thin. So you have your and I don't like it. I don't like the way it feels. You have when a problem I sip on it. wrapping your lips around fat things. Now, okay, that's what, what you said. I know. I'm right. reiterating. I'm gonna go on a nose difference. Ready? It's more mild on the nose, and I'm gonna say that's just because the opening is larger. It is. It's um. I mean, it's like a fifteen to twenty percent difference, but it's a, it's it's enough that you can notice it. Yeah. Now, that's yours. Try that. Oh, lovely. And then and then Rex is gonna choose the next piece of mm. of. Uh, I'm splying at you. Compared to the Glen Cairn. And by the way, we're just gonna compare everything to the Glen Cairn, because that's sort of the gold standard of whiskey glasses, I think. You know what? What do you think? Um, I feel like I would be making up, I would be, be trying to imagine a difference and trying to sound smart if I said I was getting a different flavor experience with yeah. these two glasses. I agree. There a is smell, no. a smell experience. Smells different, taste is no different whatsoever. Right. Um, the, uh, but, but it feels, you see what I mean, that fat edge? Well, the, here, it's, I have, uh, it's too bulky. I, I have some young kids. And this is kind of like, I mean, I throw back a little sippy cup once in a while. <laughs> Look, it looks like an interesting experience. This feels kind of like a sippy cup. It really does. Yeah. It feels like a plastic cup with a fat edge to it. Yeah, okay. Uh, which is really disappointing. Rex's want? turn. What Rex is choosing a glass. Oh. And we're going to have to move faster. Well, oh. <laughs> All right. So, a, 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 fair an, enough. A, an equal amount of pour. No, 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 I mean, no, 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 no. This one was like one eighth full. So. No, 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 no. That's it. That's all you get. This is not a good comparison. There's, you can't smell anything. <laughs> it's, no, it's all candy. There's no smoke. Taste is the same. This log of one's gonna taste the no, same no matter what we so, put it in. Uh, no, 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 the smell is so much sweeter. That's wow. what I said. The smell is candy. No alcohol. What? Because the alcohol is all hanging out in this giant glass. If you just smelled log of in this glass, you would be expecting something much friendlier. And no, sweeter. take a sip and, and realize that you are sadly mistaken. Still tastes like Lago 1 8. Still Lago 1 yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, that's going into my Glen Cairn. Next glass, Rex. So we're two in. Three in. Oh, what? okay. So this was a, uh, I can't remember who made these, Canada. but it actually says Canada Canadian it. on the bottom. That This was made for Canadian whiskey. They want you to put ice and pour so Canadian whiskey on it. So that's the shape that makes maple do something nice. Like yeah. That. There you go. Good luck. What do you think? Maybe we should have had ice for this. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be surprised if. Tastes different? Smell is strong, actually. What the hell? It's almost identical in smell. See if the taste is different for you. Yeah, it did. It's smoother. What the f*** just happened? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know. That's because the, on these... No, the, yeah, the taste was identical. The smell the, the smell was different, the taste was identical. On this one... What the f***? I don't know. 
That's disturbing. Damn Canadians and their witchcraft. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, get another one. Alright. I'm not... Oh, like a true alcoholic. <laughs> Whiskey in a coffee mug. <laughs> Wait, make sure it's clean. Why, did you it's really... Clean. I don't know what this had before. Yeah. Whiskey in a coffee mug. Now this is how I get, uh, don't tell anyone, but this is how I get through kindergarten graduation. Yeah, smell much stronger. I bring a coffee mug to kindergarten graduation. Smell as much may or may not have whiskey in it. <laughs> At 9 a.m. Yeah, you can't smell it. It's all candy and light air. Um, Tastes the same. Yeah, no change in taste. All right, there's some devilry in this thing. Yeah, holy <laughs> It's Canadian thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so here's the thing. We have one last shot, and these were made for us as a gift from Dave Young. Now, remember Dave Young's smelling technique? Right, if you know Dave Young, you would know that <laughs> these may or may not have once been part of a bong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, set that down. Yeah, wait, should I get a close up? You ready? Hold that one up. You can almost hear the water pipe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're gonna fill this with whiskey. Wait, first, wait. Let's try it. First, let's double check our Dave Young smelling technique. Ready? I'm, getting, well, I'm actually not getting anything. I'm getting cinnamon. I'm getting cinnamon. There's no echo. What happened? When we did this last time, I got actual seashell. I'm getting nothing. I blame the Canadian witchcraft. Damn it. We've been cursed. <laughs> All right. I think I got like one twelfth of an ounce in these glasses. Okay. So when you hey, smell Young, this, make larger containers next time. When you time. smell it in this glass, you have to hold one nostril. Away. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> oh, my nose is stopped up on that side. Uh, that kind of burns me. Oh, because you had to get too close. Right. You flew too close to the sun <laughs> again. <laughs> it's really hard to smell that. Yeah, there's nothing. I can't get anything. <laughs> it's just coming out the side. I'm gonna stick my nose. Right, and my nose is wet. <laughs> I stuck my nose in the glass. <laughs> Dave Young, you make shitty <laughs> whiskey glasses. <laughs> All right, we're taking a drink. Cheers to you. Cheers. I dribbled down his I, side. I barely wet my mouth with that. Dude, more. More. This big. I didn't taste anything. Yeah. That's what you're going for. <laughs> That's what you're going for. <laughs> These are ost red ostrich glasses. Yeah. Mm. So, okay. I'm just going to say the Glencairn, it just beat the shit out of all of them. No, I, I, it, it, for no other reason than if I can get more off the nose. It's a gold standard. All right. And you know why I've been so nice to you these last few videos? Wait. That was nice? Yeah. I found out, huh. your, I found out your mom watches all these. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! So they're like, oh my gosh. There if you ever limit. end up at my parents' house, right. you want to be have like a not a cold shoulder. There's a limit to how much I can emasculate Daniel <laughs> whenever your mom is watching. A lovely lady. <laughs> I cannot brutalize your son on you. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> your mom. Your mom fight all your fights for you, bro? <laughs> no, but she could. <laughs> Most people don't know that. All right. So, till tomorrow. I think the three of us had a lovely <laughs> the time. The three of us. And then, I'm pulling that down. <laughs> uh, till tomorrow, me or crazy, say this side illegal. Like and comment and do those things that you're really good at. Cheers. Cheers.